You got to go back to your past experience that God bring, brought you out and your past victories that you thought it was all over, but God brought you out. You look like you was going to be defeated because what society said, but God yet took care of you. Huh. Oh, yeah, right there. Yes. Verse uh, 20, David. Amen. And David rose up early in the morning and left the sheep with the keeper and took and went as Jesse had commanded him. And he came to the trench as the host was going forth to fight and shouted for the battle. Uh huh. For Israel and the Philistines had put the battle in array army against army. See, see, when David left, he didn't just leave the sheep uncovered. He put somebody to make sure the sheep was going to be alright. Then he went on his other assignment to go see about his brothers and to bring them a lunch. But David was coming for much more than just being a lunch deliverer. He was going to deliver Israel. Y'all don't want to talk to me. Don't look at how I'm coming and what I'm coming with. You don't know who's backing me. You ever been on the job and, and a person uh, throwing out all their accolades and, and what they got in the degrees and when promotion come, time came, mm -hmm. you didn't have the degree but they promoted you? Because they didn't know who was backing you. I just want to talk to you today. I'm trying to let you know a champion live on the inside of you and great is he that liveth in you. First John 4 and 4. Read. And David left his carriage in the hand of the keeper of the carriage and ran into the army and came and saluted his brothers. Uh -huh. And as he talked with them, behold, there came up the champion the Philistine of Gath, uh -huh. Goliath by name, uh -huh. out of the armies of the Philistines and spake according to the same word. Uh -huh. He's blowing, he blowing on them. Yeah. Trying to make them scared. Really. And David heard them. And all the men of Israel, when they saw the man, fled from him and were so afraid. And the men of Israel said, Have ye seen this man that has come up? Sure. <laughs> Listen, listen. They scared not even to put fear on everybody else. That's why I tell you all, listen, it ain't good for you to throw out everything that come on your mind. You scared now, you make another folks scared. Just be quiet. Please. Surely to defy Israel is he come up. And it shall be that the man who killeth him, the king will enrich him with great riches. And we'll give him. Hold up, David. Thinking now, not only am I gonna whoop this joker, my pocket's gonna be fat after him. Huh? Yeah. Then he gonna give me his daughter? Let me check out. See, oh, she pretty too. I'm gonna whoop her. Oh my God! I'm taking your head, brother. What's this really? And make his father's. How y'all don't wanna talk to me? It's some stuff that you want. You got to go after it. Jesus going to bless you and open doors for you. But if you don't walk through it, you'll be like a whole lot of church people. Talk about, I'm going to be blessed. I'm gonna, no, no, no. I, ain't, I am blessed. Team TOC, we are blessed. Huh. Watch this read. And make his father's house free in Israel. Uh huh. And David spoke to the men that stood by him, saying, What shall be done to the man that killeth this Philistine? I want to know the reward. I whoop him for free, but uh, I just want to know. Watch this read. And taketh away the reproach from Israel. Uh huh. He so trying to shame God's people? Oh, come on. Read. For who? I, I need some Davids. When the devil start messing, you ain't start whooping out. I don't like this Bella, but I know I'm coming out victorious. 
Read it. For who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God? Uh-huh. And the people answered him after this manner, saying, So shall it be done to the man that killeth him. And Eliab, his eldest brother, heard when he spake unto the men. And Eliab's anger was kindled against David. Hey, listen, listen. You ain't got no guts, but you mad. You ain't read David, because God don't bless him with confidence that I'm going to win. See, that's how it is in the body of Christ. When you bless, folks start looking, and they want to talk about you and shame you, because they want what you got. You got to stay focused on what got you where you at, and that's your dependence on God. different than Joseph brothers. Joseph brothers try to kill him. Now, here, Jesse, elder, three elder sons, and the oldest one get mad because David got guts. But David had some experience with God, a relationship with God that they didn't have. Samuel got fooled when he went to Jesse House to anoint king. Oh, surely that must be the one. He's tall in stature. God, like, uh uh, that ain't the one. The one I chose, he in the back smelling like sheep. And a real shepherd smell like the sheep. A real shepherd been through some experience and they can lead you to the wealthy place, not just tell you. <laughs> Watch this, read. Thank you. Why camest thou down hither? And with whom hast thou left those few sheep in the wilderness? I know thy pride. Go back and handle your little sheep. You don't belong here. Don't let people tell you where you belong. Yeah. When God raised you up, people can't put you down. Yeah, yeah, brother. I said, when God raised you up, See, some of us uh, uh, is still tripping out where he brought you from. So what he brought you out the dope house? Come on. So what he brought you out of alcohol? So what what he brought you out the whore house? If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things happen. I'm glad he brought me out the dope house. You know why? I'm not self-righteous. See, when he bring you out, you know you can reach down and help somebody else come out. I don't want to talk to me. I'm about to preach. Really? I know thy pride and the naughtiness of thine heart. But thy hey, listen, just like they say about me in the body of Christ, your pride. That's what they say about us. They, they, we know you just come to look with your pride. You say I got pride, but y'all got fur. All right. We gonna see how much pride he had. See, the thing about it, I've been saying this for years. The body of Christ don't know boldness from pride. All right. And David had boldness, but they said he had pride. All right. <laughs> Watch this. Read the book. For thou art come down that thou mightest see the battle. You just come in to watch. Watch what? Y'all too scared to fight. Well, I'm, David said, I'm here watching y'all shake. I didn't come to rock, watch no shake, rock, and roll. I could have watched every Presley if I wanted to see that. Y'all get it in the book. <laughs> Watch this. Read. And David said, What have I now done? Is there not a cause? And he turned from him toward another and said, See, King TRC, God raised us up for a cause. Yeah. This community needed us. Yeah. This world needed us. Yeah. Needs us. Yeah. And so we just answering the call. Yes. We ain't messing with nobody. We just answering the call. Yes. Come on. David said, here's 
a cause. And I don't see y'all ready to handle it. Look at your neighbor and say, we ready. We, ready. we got the heart of a champion. We got the heart of a champion. Watch this read. And he turned from him toward another and spake after the same manner. And the people answered him again after the former manner. And when the words were heard which David spake, they rehearsed them before Saul, and he sent for him. And David said to Saul, Let no man's heart be right with, with this Philistine. Ooh, God. David ready to go fight. They talking stuff, but they ain't doing nothing. But David, I represent us. That's boldness. Watch this read. And Saul said to David, Thou art not able to go against this Philistine. To Don't fight let him. nobody tell you what you're not able to do. You're able to do all things through Christ which strengthen you. Stop it. I've been in ministry 27 years. We started this church 12 years ago. Nobody gave us nothing. Stop preachers looking for somebody to give you something. They didn't call you. If God called you, he gave you a vision, he will give you provision. When God's not providing, you need to question, did he call you or did something you don't want? When Jonah went his own way, Jonah had to pay his own fine. God told Jonah to go to Nineveh. Jonah found a whole nother way to go. Let me tell you, the heart of a father is not to uh, provide. I taught my kids to live on their own. Since they've been out of my house, they ain't calling. Daddy, help me with this. Because they've been taught by a father. Nobody gave this ministry nothing. We have to have a heart of a champion. And that's why I raised my real sons and daughters up to have a heart of a champion. They won't be out in ministry begging nobody. Looking for somebody to provide for their vision. If God gave you the vision, son, go. Watch God provide. But if it's your own, you got to pay your own fine. I'm raising up men, not wimps. Watch this read. For thou art but a youth, and he a man of war from you. You can't do it, David. You just a youth. Well, the old ones ain't ready to do nothing. All right. God's not looking at your age. He's looking at do you have faith in him. Oh, yeah, all right. Y'all want me to preach real hard and grab my ear and do all that? I just want to talk to you today. I want to make sure you got the heart of a champion. And if you did think you have it, you're going to have it before you leave here today. 